History, the universal abode of our past, memo of our endeavors, and monument of our every achievement. Numerous occasions have sought its address, but only those with empathy for the future have found it. Over the years, many events are unaccounted for because they fell by the wayside of history, and so many others regal in public spectacle because their status in history is irreversible. The status of Calabar in the annals of Nigerian history is well documented and irreversible too. It was effectively the pre-colonial headquarters of modern-day Nigeria. History bequeaths to this town the haven of missionaries that has stimulated education and civilized social behavior. But despite its affinity with the country's pre-colonial past, this cross-river state capital refuses to succumb to the status of an ancient town, keeping pace with every future of a modern and cosmopolitan city with effortlessly ease. Calabar has no problem living up to its name, Canaan City, a land flowing with good roads, clean and sanitary environment, mineral resources, recreation sports, tourist attraction and numerous opportunities, to mention but a few. Beyond this, the city of Calabar brandishes its credentials as a destination of note, hosting of Lilica Brothers Nigeria Limited the ultimate electrical and mechanical engineering solution company with unparalleled expertise in public utility lighting. Lilica Brothers have been an indomitable partner with the Cross River State Government in providing world-class street lighting facility for the streets and highways of its capital city. Check out the roll call. Marion Road has a loud say in the commercial complexion of Calabar. It is a major business address in the city. Functional street light now lines up along on this famous route to share up the poles of commerce at night and provide access to adjoining roads. And one of those such roads is MCC Road, where the nightlife of Calabar fires on actually to be part of what is going on in Prosper State and especially this light in particular. Yes. You know, it's what we do, we do see on TV. It's what we do see happening in other countries we do here. But then um, we have seen it happening in Prosper and I happen to be a part of it. You know, before we come out in the street like this, you don't even, in fact, you are afraid of moving out. I came out this evening with a sense of confidence yes. that I will come and get what I want to get and go back to my house because everywhere is illuminated. We want the government to make sure that they do everything within their ambit to make sure that the light stays on every night. Lilika Brothers have done a good job. You know, in Calabar. Uh, they have done a good job in Calabar and even beyond. So I want to really appreciate them and thank them also, the management and everyone responsible for this feat. It is remarkable. Also not left out of this dividend is the parliamentary road. History delivers to us the information that Mary Slazer eradicated the cultural practice of the killing of twins in ancient Calabar by her missionary exports and the aesthetic disposition of the population of trees on either side of the Mary Slazer road goes high measure to depict her heroine spirit. The Cross River State Government in collaboration with its technical partners, Lilica Brothers Nigeria Limited 
has installed a street light of international standard along the entire length of this road, which holds nostalgic memories for Calabar. The beauty of Calabar is the light, and credit must go to my Igbo governor, Senator Mary Moke. You know, we had, we had some sort of poles, street lights, before he came in. Before he came in, been in uh, been having worked uh, in the power sector, uh, he knew the beauty of poles, so we had to change all the old poles to these new poles that you've seen now. And uh, that's where the beauty comes from. These poles are long, they are tall, and wide, so it covers the entire road. But most times, if you, if you have one or two problems and the street are off, most people are sad in Calabar because uh, they wouldn't really want to go out. Uh, but the beauty is there, clearing the street is where uh, traffic lights. As I said, the beauty, uh, everything comes from my doctor. He initiated it and revived the situation. Right now, we are thinking of having street lights in almost all the new ones in Calabar South and the municipality. So, within the next three years, that's uh, Action plan within the next three years. We have street lights everywhere in Calabar. So when you fly into Calabar at night, it is something nice. The cosmopolitan texture of Calabar comes alive on Bogobri Road, hosting an expansive settlement of houses and peoples of northern Nigeria extract. The nights and commercial activities in this residential stretch of road is pumped up for every subsequent day thanks to the provision of Lilica Brothers powered street lights on this road. Yeah, uh, it is a fantastic something because um, I travel some, to some other states. It's not like this in the night. Some states are very dark, by this time you cannot move around. But here in Christopher State, we have a very free movement at any time of the day, even in the night. You, are very, you, don't, you don't have anything to fear because of the straight light. It's very good. Apparently, we would have been out by the time of the night we came. We'd have been out of one or two days outside. You can see we are walking freely at night. See, it's all because of the street light. So, it's a welcome development and we really appreciate it. And you make sure that we, we preserve it and maintain it at least for the good long against vandalization, that's all. Once in a while, I'm always on the road. And it's, it's, um, it's interesting that in Calabar at this time, you can walk freely on the road without using touch light, without, um, or with some sense of security. It's a good thing, and the idea is worth so much trouble. Whatever money has been spent, is uh, well spent. And kudos to Senator Lely Moke, the government. And I think we will not just thank them for getting this instituted, but maintaining the success that is on board. It's a good idea. As the roll call continues on roads and highways in Calabar that have had their nights illuminated by the technical dexterity of Lelika Brothers, the Mutala Mohammed Highway spontaneously comes to mind. The government of Cross River State has had a haulage of plaudits coming its way for its sound discretion to fix this highway with lighting utility because of its strategic importance to the Canaan city. The Mutala Mohammed Highway has its surface sprawled out to human and vehicle traffic from the UJ S1 Stadium through the bustling 8 mile suburb onto the Tenapa Business Resort. Airport Road by name introduces its significance to this town. This is the main access road to the Calabar International Airport, an entrance and exit point of the city. Driving through this road at night is a pleasure ride for motorists because this route dispenses the propriety of functional street light streaming down illumination for safe passage. My 
my name is Maureen. I'm from Abia State. I think, uh, let me say this is my first time of coming to uh, Calaba. It's so nice. It's this, well, it seems as if I'm in, in maybe US or, or UK. I'm, I'm so surprised. It's good. Bravo to Cross River State. Okay, my name is Honorable Rotarian Abraham Yudoham. And um, the fact I came all the way from my past state, apart precisely, I want to say that I'm very, very, I think I feel great seeing what is going on here. I was in Calabar about three weeks ago. I enjoyed it. I was also here a few months ago. I also enjoyed it. So I think uh, the leadership in Calabar, in Cross River State, uh, they, they have really done great. Um, so to say, so you come down the other side, though you will find these things. But I think Calabar is great, and so I want to give kudos to the leadership here, the government. They've been doing well, and I wish they would do more. At least we can see ourselves. No matter, this is it's, it's, it's about about 12 midnight, and it appears this is just about uh, 12 noon. So it's, it's, it's a great deal. If the other states in Nigeria are all like this, the state's capital are all like this, I think we have gotten a uh, dividends of democracy but uh, please if you can pass the message across let other state emulate the governor of uh, cross river state and uh, do the same thing lilika also swayed the pendulum of history towards the ujs stadium for fixing this ultra modern sport facility with thought lines of the same brand and quality as those standing over the old Trade Fort Stadium of Manchester United in England. We have to give kudos to the contractor, the Lekar brothers. They've been with us for over years now, so having the street lights, we are having the street lights, and uh, dedicated light. The street lights are 24 hours, seven days a week. And uh, it's run on a generator, on a machine, we are wasting this year, but uh, the beauty of it is uh, we have a dedicated line, which we are tapping from Snapper, but very soon we will have our own dedicated line, okay. which will reduce our cost of this year, okay. and uh, we will make it better operational for us. Okay. So this first, uh, the first administration, the administration of first uh, four years uh, of Senator Millennium, we can want to concentrate in Calabar. Okay. Now once we finish, they will move to the other. We have about six urban uh, cities, Mbudu, Mbuja, Ikon, Ugeb, uh, Itigidi. Yeah. And uh, we actually done what we are doing in Calabar's house now, in Mbudu, which is almost completed, Mbuja is completed. So when we finish in Calabar, they will move the next four years, we move over to the local the, the urban cities to get the street lights on. Calabar streets have been made safer by the bright lights for the police to combat the menace of crime, poor visibility, related accidents and collisions on the road is now almost history. History is also being made as a population of Calabarians hitting the streets to unwind and enjoy the nightlife of their capital city storms all the time. As you can see, it's a tale of history to the halt. Are you saying they've done a good job? Yes, have, yes, yes, yes. It's very good. The Lika brothers have done a good job. I'm, I'm so surprised. It's good. Uh, I'm very impressed with whatever I see, all I see in uh, Calabar, Cross River State. It's a great deal. It's also interesting to know that the fabrication of the bays hosting the street lights are done here in Calabar. Lilica Brothers is not just after the installation of street lighting, but the maintenance too. As you can see, the maintenance team on site replacing the damaged street light.